Shalom to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth. I am the brother here in Mayan coming at y'all with another one. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, Bahashem means in the name Yahweh Shai is the name of the Savior, our Savior, our King. All right. Um, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. Okay, his real name is Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rahakodash in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> Which is the Raha Kodash. All right. Um and uh I was thinking about uh when I was when I used to run cross country when I was young, I used to run cross country. And um you used to have to endure that pain. You, it, it, it was it was a different kind of pain. Like right now in my life, I hate cardio. You know, I hate trying to I hate running. You know, because it just puts a different kind of pain on you. You know, <clears throat> but it builds up your endurance. Okay, so uh, with that being said, you know, this lesson is called um, I'm gonna just name it. Uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel because, you know, the tunnel uh. It's going to have all kind of trials and tribulations that you have to you have to get through in order to see the light, you know. And uh, so so let's go. Let's see what the word endurance means. This is endurance. It says the fact or power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving away. Right. You see. So uh, that's uh, you know, that that's that's heavy right there. You know, a process you know, <clears throat> unpleasant process, difficulty, you know, it says without giving away, without giving up, you know, so, um, yeah, man, the message is, man, we need to keep, keep, keep enduring, all right, endure the process, you know, endure and never give up, okay, because guess what, there's light at the end of the tunnel, all right, so this is Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 1, it says, and when I had made an end of speaking these words, there were sent unto me an angel which had been sent unto me the night afore. And he said unto me, Up, Ezra. It says, Hear, hear the words that I come to tell you, to tell thee. It says, And I said, Speak on, my God. Then he said unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. It says, But the case. It says, but put the case, the entrance were narrow like a river. <clears throat> it says, who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it if he went not through the narrow? You see, it says, how could he come into the broad? It says, there is also another thing. A city is built. It can, now he's about to compare this to the kingdom of heaven. You know, the whole thing is talking about um, just basically enduring you know you got to get through the uh rough passages in order to get to the light you know it says um there is another thing a city is builded and is set upon a broad field it says and is full of all good things it's talking about the kingdom of heaven it says the entrance thereof is narrow it says and is set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water you see, it says, and only one path between them both. You see, and, 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 and you know, you got to stay on that same path. You can't, ain't no shortcuts, man. Okay, getting getting to the uh, to the light, okay, to the kingdom of heaven, there's no shortcuts. All right, you know, you know, you got you to go to one, and, and there's, there's no quicker, there's no other door that you have to walk through. You know, you got to continue to endure and stay on that path. Okay, and, and, and it's dangerous. You know, you got all kind of trials and tribulations that's going to trip you up, but you have to stay on course. All right. So it says, um, it says, even between fire and water, it says, oh, so like I'm gonna read verse seven again. It says, the entrance thereof is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left hand there were deep water. You see that? So that's just that, that this is a comparison of getting to the kingdom of heaven. OK, and it's going to be difficulties, just like we just read the definition of endurance. OK, 
um, enduring. Uh, let's read it again. It says the fact of power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process. You see, and that's what we're going through right now. You know, trying to stay on uh, top of the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and under uh, understanding of the heavenly Father, teaching, preaching. You know, being a great example to the brothers that's around you. You know, and the flock that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Your family, your household. You know, then you got to go to work and deal with uh, you know, working uh, with Esau. You know, busting your ass, knowing that you you supposed to be <laughs> ruling. You know. <laughs> But you got to deal with the trials and tribulations, whatever that come with it, in order to feed your family on this side. All right. Um, you know, and, and, and there's plenty more demons, you know, plaguing your mind, you know, plaguing uh, everybody around you, you know, stopping you from uh, trying to stop you from fulfill the, uh, the, 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 um, the will of the heavenly father. You know, that's that's that uh, that's that unpleasant or difficult process, man. All right. And, uh, you know, you, if you in this walk and you, and you diligent and you, the Lord is dealing with you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the, you know, we all know what's going on here. All right. So, yeah, man, this this walk is it's, it's a difficult uh, process, man. All right. But we need to know up here that the tunnel, the, 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 hey, the light is the, the light is, man, the light is right there, man. OK, the light is there, but we just got to go get it. You know, we must go, go, go to the light. And I'm just, I'm going to just speed up on that, you know, because the light just shined bright in my eye as I said it, you know, but uh, let's go back to here. Uh, verse eight, it says, one, it's in an only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water so small that there could only one man go there at once. You see, it says, um, if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it. How shall he receive this inheritance, man? Okay, because you're not gonna receive it if you don't, uh, uh, if you don't, uh, uh, f um, you don't go through the dangers that's set before it. And guess what? This is really nothing that we're going through right now. You know, wait till Jacob's trouble kick off. Wait till uh, the heavenly Father turn things up, and you have to rely all on your how about you shy. You know. Imagine when you can't when you when you when you can't uh, uh, go go to the grocery store, you don't have no money, you know, you're going to have to, you know, put all your faith in your how about you with shy. OK, another part of endurance is staying prayed up. Keep your spirit more on fire. Pray for um. pray for uh, pray to stay on fire, because if you're not staying on fire, then you're more susceptible to be uh, cast out this truth and you're you're probably be in a, in a two thirds club. OK, many are called, but few are chosen. There's brothers that have been called in this thing, but they're not in this thing, you know. So you know, you got to keep that in mind as well. All right. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, so um, if you shouldn't pass the dangers that set before the kingdom of heaven, how should you receive an inheritance? You know, and that's that's everlasting life, rulership of the earth. OK, crowns, spiritual powers, you know, new bodies. You know, rulership. No, you you, you know, <laughs> hey man, you gotta you gotta work for that, man. The heavenly Father just not gonna give it give that to you, man. All right, verse ten it says, and I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Yeah, man. You know, <clears throat> that inherit that inheritance is Israel's portion, man. You know, <clears throat> it says, uh, um. It says, because for their sakes, I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statues, then was decreed that now is done. That were the entrances of the world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil. It says, full of perils and very painful. It says, for the entrance of the elder world were wide and sure, brought immortal fruit that's right man it's talking about it's, it's comparing the world and ancient uh, before adam uh transgressed you know because it was because the lord made us to uh you know uh rule right we was we wasn't even supposed to um you know you know we ain't supposed to be in no damn captivity we're supposed to be ruling the damn earth but since uh you know adam and uh he he uh allowed for eve to uh deceive him you know you know now we have to um 
to go through great travails to, uh, to get the, to the kingdom of heaven, you know? Uh, I got two more precepts right here. Um, yeah. Uh, Sirach, 1 and 23. This is... Sirach, yeah. Sirach, chapter 1. Sirach, chapter 1 and verse 23. It says, a patient man will tear for a time. And afterward, joy shall spring up unto him. That's right, man. And that's why we always preach to be patient. You know, patience uh, uh, is, is, is a huge, beautiful attribute in the truth, man. Okay? Because, uh, you know, you know, um, <laughs> patience is what you, you learn from patience. All right? You learn that uh, pay, uh, learning comes from patience. Okay? It says, uh, it says, he will hide his words for a time, and the lip of many shall declare his wisdom. You know, and that's all I wanted on that, man. man. You know, so now I got, I got one more precept before I got to go back in the job. Jump down to verse uh, 27. It says, it says, for the fear of Yahweh is wisdom and instruction, and faith and meekness are his delight. You see that? And faith and meekness are his, are his delight. You know, and when, you, when you're meek, you're, you're, you're in a humble spirit. All right. And you, you really, you know, you're you're, you're um, you're already in a uh, in, in a lowly spirit. Right. And that, that allows you to uh, have more patience on the side, man. All right. So we know that, um, you know, the kingdom of heaven, man, you know, the kingdom of heaven requires patience. You know, that it requires, you know, especially when you out there in the highways and byways and you teaching brothers or a sister or whoever the case may be. You know, mostly the brothers, because we don't, we, you know, we, we deal with the men, you know, and, um, you know, um, you got, you, you, a lot of times you have patience because people have questions and sometimes they might come off, you know, with a, um, they might come off with a kind of aggressive spirit, but you got to humble yourself down, you know, in order to calm, calm all the spirits, uh, you know, spirits around you, because you have to keep in mind that it's demons jump uh, coming off of everybody. You don't want to get no demons riling you up. So you got to stay as patient as possible. All right. So, yeah, man, you know, that light, um, the light is at the end of the tunnel. You must endure. You know, we must be patient, you know, and understand what's at stake. And that's the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. And that's more important than anything, man, on this earth. OK. And with that being said, call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakodash, Shalom to the hopefully elect, double honor to the apostle, great millstone, and to the next one, Shalom.